I'm going to drop a new file into a SharePoint folder and have that trigger my Power BI report to refresh and update to show that new data. Let's go. Here's a report, just a single chart with January data in. That data is coming from an Excel file saved in a folder. Here's my January data. Now, if I add February data into this folder, I want my Power BI report to refresh, pull in the January and February data and update my chart. Now I've set up a Power Automate already to do this. And I should also get a little notification ding on my phone when it completes. So I'll show you how this works and the ding will happen any second now. But in the meantime, if I go back to my report, the refresh has probably already worked. I could go and check, but let's just check this way by clicking on the little refresh icon. So see, it's only January. If I click refresh now, this is actually just refreshing the browser. So nothing happening yet. Okay, so it hasn't updated yet, but within a few seconds, there we go, there's the ding. So hopefully if I refresh this now, there we go. Look, February data, beautiful, okay? Um, with this technique, if you've got pro license, you can only do this refresh eight times. So if you're adding 24 files, this isn't gonna work. If it's one file per day, then, or eight files or eight updates, then you're great. With premium, you can add as many as you want, okay, if you've got a premium license. So how do I set this up? Well, I've basically used the from folder option, um, or from SharePoint folder in this case, to consolidate my files. How to do that? A little link will pop up, okay, go and watch that video. So I've used that method to grab the data from the files. So that's all set up. I then had to come in, you know, once I'd set that up, I had to come in after publishing my report to the workspace and I had to go to my little schedule refresh icon and I had to put in my data source credentials. Okay, that allows the refresh to happen in the background. If you're setting up a schedule refresh, you know, same, same concept. Okay, so you've got to put that in there. Right, then what do you do? Okay, well, I went to the nine dots in the corner, the little waffle. I went to uh, Power Automate and that takes me to this screen. And I just did a search for uh, when file is added to SharePoint. Added to SharePoint or something along those lines and have a look down. When a new file is added to SharePoint, complete a custom action. Beautiful, okay, so click on that. Let's see what that gives us. Here we go. SharePoint custom action. And the SharePoint connector is a free connector, so you don't have to pay extra, it's part of Office 365. Um, if I go continue, you do have to sort of sign into SharePoint and give permissions and stuff like this. But here we go, okay. So what it says is, when a file is created or, or added, it's the same sort of concept now, you go and pick a, pick a folder, okay. So I'm gonna go uh, to the Starforce site, then within the star for site, I wanna to go to my documents. And within the documents, I wanna to go to particular folder. Okay, so share documents. Oh, I actually gotta navigate in there properly, share documents. So this is the hardest bit. Go and find my proper folder. Make sure I actually click on it. It was just this folder. So what I'm looking for basically is this folder, Power Automate, Power BI Refresh Demo. So it's under here, under shared documents, uh, this one, click on it. Okay, so that's the path I'm after. Okay, so when a file is added there, new step, search for Power BI data set. Uh, there we go, refresh a data set, awesome. Okay, which data set? Let's go to the YouTube demo. Uh, down here, Power Automate Refresh Demo, that's the name of that report data set back over here. So if I just go back to show you this and back into my data set, that's the report. Well, that's the data set there and that's the report off it. Okay, and that's it essentially. And then I added one more step, notification. 
to get a little notification, send me a mobile phone. You have to have the Power Automate app on your phone and notifications enabled. And you can put a little text message in there and a link. But that's essentially it. Um, then you click Save, and away it goes. All right, that's, that's the essence of it. So look, hope you find that useful. Let me know what you think in the notes below. Any comments? Is anybody using this? Any traps and tricks? And as always, just check out the description in case I put some updates in there. Sometimes people mention things and I think oh, that's a great note and I put it in the description. So check out the description. All right. Hope you all enjoyed it. Catch you in the next video.